I've created several survival guides within the Music Theory Survival Guide that will help us when we're dealing with chromatic intervals. And if you have the chance or the ability to, print out copies of these. You can print them out directly from the PDF that you have of the Music Theory Survival Guide. I think it's going to be useful to have a hard copy of each of these by your side any time that you have to figure out or identify chromatic intervals. So the first page that I'm going to show you is page 4.6.2. And this is just a reminder of the two questions, the two questions that we ask ourselves every time we have to figure out a chromatic interval. Question number one, what is the diatonic interval? Or another way of asking that question is how many letter names do we move through? Question number two is what is the distance in half steps between the two notes? And then that answer to the second question, how many half steps do we have? That is going to help us determine the quality, whether it's major, minor, perfect, augmented, or diminished. The second thing I'd like to show you is on page 4.5.6, and this is the interval and half step counting survival guide. And this is sort of just a little piano that you can bring with you anytime or any place if you don't have a piano available. And this is going to give you everything that you need to, to count diatonic intervals and count half steps. And I encourage you to use this. This is not cheating. This is a great tool. It's a great way to just visualize the piano. Um, so suppose I gave you something like this. Suppose I gave you an, uh, an F and a C sharp, and I said, tell me what is this interval? Identify the chromatic interval between F and C sharp. So the first question you're going to ask is, what is the diatonic inter interval from F to C sharp? And remember, the diatonic interval is simply asking how many letter names are we moving through. So F. 1, G, 2, A, 3, B, 4, C, 5. And remember when we're talking about letter names, we don't care if we start or end on a sharp, a flat, a natural, double sharp, double flat. All we care about is the letter name. So C, C sharp, C flat, they all are equivalent when we're counting letter names. So the answer to how many letter names do we move through is 5. Then, how many half steps do we move through? Well, that's why we have the piano keyboard. So we're going to start on F, and we're going to count 0. Remember, we always start counting on 0 with half steps. F0, F sharp 1, G2, G sharp 3, A4, A sharp 5, B6, C7, and C sharp 8. So the answer is 8. We have a diatonic interval that is 5, so we have some kind of a fifth, and we have 8 half steps. But how do we remember which quality this is? We know it's some kind of a fifth, but which kind of a fifth is it? Do we have to go back and watch the videos? What are we going to do? Well, that's where this chart comes in, which is the final thing, the chromatic interval survival guide. Absolutely keep this by your side as you are working. The Chromatic Inter Interval Survival Guide gives you everything you need. Um, and let me just explain this chart. It's sort of a version, a bigger version of the chart that we were making in the videos earlier. So along the top, you see the number of half steps right here. So uh, zero half steps, one half step, two half step, three half steps, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so forth. Right on the side, on the left here, you see the interval. What is the interval? Octave, 7th, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, unison. You use the number of half steps and the interval to figure out what your quality is. So for instance, let's go back to our example. We found that we had a 5th, because we had 5 uh, five letter names with eight half steps. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to our row for the interval of a fifth right here. Okay, so we're going to find this row. And then we're going to find eight half steps right here in this column, the column for eight half steps. 
Um, so where does the row for five, the interval of a fifth, meet with the column of eight half steps? And it meets right here. That means that this is F to C sharp is an augmented fifth. Let's just do one, one more of these just to make it absolutely clear. So I'm going to put an augmented fifth here. Uh, let's go from D flat to B double flat. This is, seems like a kind of crazy interval. D flat to B double flat. OK. So let's go back to our keyboard and figure this out. Let's find our two notes first of all. First note is D flat, and that's easy enough to find. D flat is right here. D flat right here. And then where's B double flat? Well, here's B. So a half step down from B is B flat, and then a half step down from B flat is B double flat. Just write that down here to remind us. Now look, on the piano keyboard, it looks like a an A. And we play the note that looks like A. But we're going to think about this as a B double flat. So when we're counting the letter names, we have to go all the way up to B. So let's count our letter names. How many letter names do we have? What is our diatonic interval? D, 1, E, 2, F, 3, G, 4, A, 5, B, 6. So this is going to be the interval of a sixth, some kind of a sixth. What kind of sixth is it going to be, though? Well, let's count our half steps. So we're going to start in D flat. Zero. Remember, we always count, start counting zero. D flat, zero. D1, D sharp, two. E3, F4, F sharp, five. G6, G sharp, seven. B double flat, which looks like an A. 8. So the answer is we have 8 half steps. We have 8 half steps. So let's go to our chart. What is a sixth with 8 half steps? And again, let's, let me erase my old work here. So we have the interval of a sixth. So we're going to go to the sixth row right here, interval of a sixth, and follow that row over to 8 half steps right here to the column of eight half steps. And where does that lead us? That is a minor sixth. That is a minor sixth. Just as a side note, did you notice something interesting uh, that this chart will reveal? Notice that there are two intervals that have two chromatic intervals that have eight half steps. There is a minor sixth, and then right above it, also with eight and a half steps, is an augmented fifth. And I think one of the cool things about this chart is that we can see all these different pairs of intervals that are that are created uh, being spelled in two different ways, or being spelled enharmonically. So you can sort of pick out some of those as you go. Um, but students have found this a really useful tool, uh, along with the keyboard. Uh, that we have on the other page. So so please print this out. Keep it by your side. I think this is going to be an invaluable tool.